Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alexis here. If this is your first time watching, I'm Alexis. I'm in the Air Force Reserves as a flight medic. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my journey. <laughs> okay. Um, two years in, two years later, do I regret joining the military? Well, guys, it is a conflicted answer. I'm not gonna lie, it's a conflicted answer. And I'm gonna go into why I feel that way. I'm gonna go into why I feel that way. So, there are a couple of things that I wish that I knew, right? One of them is how long the process actually is to do my job. So as a flight medic, we have hella training beyond tech school beyond phase one and phase two. We've got flight school, we've got prog tour, we've got SEER, we've got water survival, okay? We've got CDCs, we've got tasks, okay? We've got uh, like, what is it called? Like level five tasks to sign off on before we can even get to flight school. All of this training, and it's not consecutive, right? It's just sprinkled here and there when seats are open when classes are available when you're up to date so for instance i joined back in july of 2020 yes july of 2020 shipped out to basic january 21 january 2021 um graduated all of my tech school august 2021 yeah and then I'm about to go to SEER, which is another additional training that I mentioned, in September of 2022, right? Still have CECs to do, still have everything else that I mentioned previously, okay? So I wish I knew that it was gonna take forever. And I've asked about, I've asked my supervisor, I've asked other people in my unit who are flyers on the medic side, like, how long have you been flying? How long is your contract, right? My supervisor, her contract is six years and she has only been flying for a year. All right, there's another dude in my unit. He's also a flyer. He's been at this unit for like since the beginning of his enlistment and he's been there for four years. He's only been flying for one, okay? <laughs> so. In my brain now, it's like, I have a six year contract. I'm only probably gonna be doing my job for one year. That would've been good to know, because maybe I wanna pick a different job, <laughs> all right? So that's one That's one thing that, has, that gives me a conflicted feeling about joining. Secondly, what's the second thing? Oh yeah, the second thing is how lost or overwhelmed you can feel when you are on the reserve side. Remember, this is not our nine to five. This is not our everyday job. It's once a month. We go to a unit to try and complete 30 days of work in one weekend. And so when you get to drill weekend or UTA weekend, you're overwhelmed with all of these acronyms that everyone in your unit is saying. You're overwhelmed with all the tasks that you need to complete. And on top of that, you're lost. You don't know what's going on. You don't know everything. You don't know all the buildings on your base. You don't know who to talk to, right? You don't know your leadership fully. You don't really understand the chain of command fully. And so that can be overwhelming. And that's something that I wish I knew as well. Now at this point of my career, I get it, right? I get that as a reservist, you are really independent. It's really about um, being self-sufficient, it's really about taking initiative on your own to get your own stuff done. No one is gonna be behind you to be like, all right, this is what you need to do next, and this is how you do it, and this is where you should go. None of that is happening, right? You have to ask the questions, you have to take the initiative, you have to do the research to figure out what you need to do, how to get it done, and in what order, and who you need to speak to. So understand and know that the reserves is not, in my opinion, I feel like the active duty side has all of, has a lot more guidance and a lot more, the timeline to do stuff doesn't take as long or the urgency to get things done is more urgent because you're in it every single day. And that's not the case on the reserve side, which I knew that. 
<laughs> okay? Wish I knew that. But, but beyond that, I will say that I have gained a lot from joining. One, the initial reason why I joined was to stabilize myself, right? I joined at 24 and my money was looking funny. Okay, so it did stabilize me. After leaving tech school, I had $10,000 in my pocket of savings. And that kind of planted me, that um, kind of gave me a boost to go into the next phase of my life. And that was significant. Another thing, another thing that I'm grateful for is, let me see here, that my personal relationship was tested. Okay, and I'm so grateful for that because it showed me the strength of what I have and the value of what I have. And if you are in a relationship and you're about to go to basic, let me tell you, it's gonna show you the strength of your relationship. It's gonna show you the value of what you have or it may show you the weaknesses or it may show you what you guys need to work on. Um, and at that point in my relationship, it was like, all right, we're considering marriage. And if we can get through this, if we can get through these seven months of long distance when we're usually in each other's space every single day, we'll be good. And that's something that my mom said. And turns out, we're good. Because we're married now. <laughs> you know? So I am so grateful for that period of our relationship because it made us stronger. Um, it gave us something to fight for. And it really showed us that we're in this thing together, right? And we love each other. So that's something that I'm grateful for. Oh. Another thing is I get to help people in a significant way. Right When I get to the point where I can actually do my job, <laughs> I will be contributing to people who are really putting their life on the lines to make sure that we're safe, that we're protected, that they're really sacrificing everything for our country's well-being. I get to help those people. And that's something that intrinsically makes me happy. It boosts my spirit. It makes me smile. And so that's another gain that I know that I'm going to see. And the last thing that I have gained that I'm so grateful for is a whole nother, a whole nother level of confidence in myself, confidence and to take other steps in my career on the civilian side, because I don't have any medical experience before joining the before joining the military. I did not go to med school, didn't do any of that. And so I came in with no medical experience and tech school was difficult. And when I graduated on Dean's List, when I did that, I was like, okay, nobody can tell me nothing. When I started an IV on a real life person, okay, I was like, oh, the confidence has been boosted, right? I can do anything. I can start any career field. I can do anything on the outside of the military. And it's something that just boosts your belief in yourself. When you conquer something that you don't think that you can do, or you're scared about doing, or you're on the fence about doing, when you get on the other side, you feel a lot better about who you are and what you can do, your potential, right? You start breaking barriers in other areas of your life. And so I'm grateful for this experience because it's really given me confidence to do other things in my life that I want to do. And it's given me plans um, that I otherwise may have not considered just because of this experience. Yeah, so did I regret it? Do I regret it? Do I regret joining the military after two years? No, I don't regret it. There are some things that frustrate me and still do to this day, <laughs> right? But I don't regret it because it's given me so much um, and I haven't even gotten to the exciting part yet. Right? So I just wanted to share this video to share some honest thoughts with you. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them like always. Um, and stay tuned for what's coming because the next endeavor in my career on the military side is starting school. And that's another thing. That's another gain, right? That's another benefit. That it's giving me a way to fund my education. That's huge. Because we, we got to figure out how to fund this fund this money. <laughs> we have to figure out how to fund this education because loans are just not an option. They're not. So that is another gain for me too. But I'm done talking. And that's all I've got for this video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you know when the next one's coming out. And I'll see you guys in the next video, like always. Peace.